Hey guys, me and my growler here. Hey, so it's been a long time since I've made a video. Um, part of that is work and, and part of that is because I messed up the growler. So um, probably in early October we had a get together um, for my daughter's birthday and uh, we had a lot of friends over and there's this kind of trench in the in the backyard or the property. Um, and you know, I had gone through it before so I was showing a buddy that you can go into this deep trench and, and pop your way back out and, and I got stuck. So the first time, you know, I got a farm jack and, and um, got myself out, but the second time to show him that I could actually do it, I started to get stuck again and I hit the gas and it slammed pretty hard and uh, I bent some portion of the metal that's on the growler. Uh, where the tie rod is connected. I also broke a CV axle on the rear passenger side. Um, so I'll go through that and I'll show you guys uh, what exactly I got into. Here's the growler in the pole barn. Everything looks good um, here on the passenger side. You come around to the driver's side and you can see where there's obvious issues. Um, this is a trickle charger that I've been using. I got it on Amazon. It works really well uh, for a 24 volt system. Uh, so I recommend it. I don't get paid for that, but um, it's been awesome for me. So you see that uh, if you look down the line of the vehicle, this rear driver's side tire is pointed outward, um, which is not a good thing. Uh, so I, at first I couldn't figure out what the problem was. Uh, the, the growler was dragging to one side after I got out of that little ditch. Um, if you come down here, it takes me a second because this floor is cold. All right, so this is uh, let me see if I can get a light in here. All right, so here's the portion of the growler, and this is the thing that is bent. You can see that should be pointing straight down to the ground. But it is not as pulled back, so it it pulls back this um, posterior portion of the tire, and that's why the front of it is pushed outward. Um, let's see if we can get. You can see that this little lip here, where the bolt is, has been bent upwards, and that's just probably from impact of the tire hitting that that ditch. Um, this axle appears to be fine. I don't know if I can get in there, but when you come to this side, <clears throat> and this axle is not fine. So this side is how this should look, you know, pointing straight up and down. Um, there's a little bit of a gap there, um, but not much. Um, but then you come over here, and this axle if you really get in there, has separated. I don't know if that means it is broken or not. I assume it's broken. Now let me see if I can get my light where I want it. Show you. Can't really get in here very well. At least not while I'm recording. So let me pull this off and then I'll just show you. Oh, oh. fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. 
I said the word, the big one, the queen mother of dirty words, the F dash 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 word. So. I don't know if you can see, but that is that. And that appears to be the extent of the problems that I've caused when I ran into that ditch and tried to get my way out of it. I called up a, a buddy of mine told me that, oh, you should be able to just get that heated up and pulled out at least on the driver's side um, so I called a um, collision repair company and they told me they'd come check it out but they we have not been able to meet up um, either they can't do it or or they it's a time that I can't do it because of my main job. Um, so we'll see if that CV axle, which does appear to be broken, if it is broken, I'm not 100% sure where I would get another one. Um, I know that they, you know, made this to hopefully make it easy to repair. See, everything's fine up here. Um, but, it's hard to repair or exchange parts when you don't know what they come from. So we're coming up on the trench here. I have a video from about a month and a half ago where I tried to show the trench um, or ditch or whatever. Um, but I never posted it. So I, I'll try and post it, see if you get a better view. Because now it's the end of November, it's cold and rainy. <laughs> you can see where I was trying to get out and then this is the area itself you know we kind of cord this out or or etch that out um, but I mean, it's a pretty decent sized hole I was going to try and get in there and show you but I almost slipped in the mud let me see if I can get a stick here see how deep it was in there. Alright, I'll take it back this way and see if I can measure that. Eh, it's not 100% accurate, but close enough for me. We have been doing stuff around the property, you know, now all the corn's gone and everything. Um, or it was soybean this year, I'm sorry. So you can see all the space, but we did build this fire pit. My wife and two daughters and I, you know, we kind of, I vaguely looked things up online and um, we just started building it. There's probably about, 5,000 pounds of rock there. Um, it was just a fun thing to do as a family. You know, we've had a few fires out here. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, right now it's cold and rainy, but you know, we've been out here quite a few times and we really enjoy it. You, there's, you know, I think the, the fire pit itself is maybe eight or nine feet in diameter. And then that inner portion is about, I don't know, four or five feet. Um, but yeah, we'll go back this way and we'll see if we can find a tape measure. All right, we're back. Uh, so I found a tape measure. Let's see. I tried not to move my thumb at all. So it looks like, give or take, 14, 15 inches. Because um, it did go into the ground a little bit. You can see maybe 14 and a half inches. Yeah embankment it did go up it you know i went up the first time um and i had no problem so that's why i wanted to show my buddy that i could do something that deep 
and uh, I got stuck the second time and then I had to prove that I could do it so I went the third time and that's when I messed up the growler um, so hopefully I can get that repaired and, and get back to making videos you know I, I bought a new camera so hopefully I can get better um, action videos and and we'll see let me know things that you guys are interested in and, and I'm happy to start uh, trying to work on that kind of stuff um, yeah all right.